These countries will generally give a 45-day uh, visa on arrival for Americans. Uh, Bali, for example, around here somewhere will give you uh, 30 days. You have the option to extend for 30 days. There's lots of visa options for Southeast Asia. There's also a lot of visa options for Europe for you know tourist visas or you can do, for example, um, 90 days in the Schengen zone then you can do another 90 days in the UK. Uh, this is a separate visa area. Uh, people used to do Croatia a lot, but that recently just became part of Schengen. Uh, so that's your 90 day limit is part of that now. But there's also a ton of other countries that you could visit. For example, the Caribbean, if you have some resources to live there, they offer plenty of visas. Um, and there's a lot of different countries, for example, in South America that will offer you a visa. So you can stay in one place for one year, two years, for example. I lived in Georgia for a while, which is over here um, near the Black Sea. And uh, that offers a one year uh, visa for digital nomads. So there's a lot of options for visas uh, with a little bit of due diligence and research. You can really find the one that works best for you. Um, and the last thing that I want to talk about after the visas is going to be <clears throat> just stability. That's what it was.